we are in the national park Nuxia and we are searching for mushrooms here. It's only half hour from Helsinki but it's here like total wilderness. Here are very huge Herkutatti but it's visible that they are bad. Anyway, this uh, place is apparently very good for them so we are going to explore it here more properly. I can see here two another individuals and we will look how they look inside because they seem quite fine. It looks good. It seems firm. Oh. Like it's warmy and how it's with the head. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Here is another one. So I will try to get it. But this is even bigger, so I guess that no chance. Very well. Hmm. I will leave it here, unfortunately. I found uh, here this bullet, Tati, and it's the bitter species. I already had some suspicion when I turned it around because the bottom is pinkish. So I tasted it, it and it's totally bitter. It's not poisonous but also not eatable. If you would miss it and put it into some meal it would destroy everything. Here is Koivu Hapero, this green one. Very aromatic. Hmm. Very good. Very good. I'm picking here these very good bullet mushrooms. Uh, they have chestnut brown color of the head and when they are cut or somehow interrupted they turn blue and they are eatable and very tasty. Here are so many Mustater Visiani. These Mustater Visiani are extremely pretty. I think that they look like flowers some exotic, exotic black flowers. This is maybe the biggest one I've ever seen. Mm. Mustater Vesieni have extraordinary strong flavor and they are suitable for preparing soup. I added there a drop of port wine which created an interesting combination of tastes.
Here are two haparousku, good for mushroom salad. Their advantage is that they have such a rubbery consistency that they are not warmy. Finnish mushroom salad is usually made from boiled milk caps. Recipes may vary in different households. We like to add onion, apple and creme fraiche. Also salt and pepper. Here are some beautiful haperos with orange color. I think that these are Ganga's hapero. And let's see how they are. This one is warmy, but it's not so bad as the other ones I found today. Oh, this one is totally bad. The lack is inside grey and warmy. And this one also totally bad. Maybe this tiny one could be. Hmm. Even this one has warm milk. Here is one Vine Hapero. I haven't found many of them this year yet, so let's see how it will be. It's one of the best ones, I guess, from the Hapero group, but it's totally, totally bad. And here is even one very fat, white worm, so not taking. This yellow mushroom, this one, is Kehnan Sieni and it can even be used as raw, as the same as Herkutati. But I must, must admit that I haven't had it yet. It has orange-brown color from the bottom. But it's very bad. Is it good for some mixtures or? Mixtures or, or by itself and salads as raw and such. Yes. Here is one tati, which I think that it's called sameti tati. That it's like velvet on the surface of the cap and from the other side it's yellow. Yes, but this one is very very warm, so... I'm not taking and also the bottom sponge is very moist so the worms like it. Here is good Kehnan Sieni which we are taking. And here are some good, quite immediate, immediate, for immediate use of a Mm-hmm. Okay, we, we can make them also today. Here are many of these Kangas Hapero, which with a lot of work can be put into the basket that they are, I don't know if like 50% warmy, but still we could make some food from it if we properly <laughs> remove all the bad parts. But the thing is that uh, we are not in the best part of the forest yet, so 
we now don't know if we should leave some space in the basket or if then uh, or if we will just miss the best opportunity and then we will end up with nothing so I don't know yes but these ones are not good anyway they are grey and extremely warmy from this cannot be saved anything here is something very interesting this mushroom is called Lampankale Lampankepe Lampankepe and uh, I've never tried it and apparently it should be the best to prepare it as uh, some steak on the pan covered in egg and breadcrumbs so I would like to try it very much let's see what is the health condition seems good to me And here is another one, also very good. Do they tend to be warm or no. not? Hmm? Good. I covered each mushroom head in flour, egg and dry breadcrumbs. Then I fried them on the pan and served them with mashed potatoes. I have here three beautiful herkutati, so I'm trying what's their health condition okay so this one is totally good that even even the leg doesn't have any warmth and it's firm highest quality i will maybe also just a little bit try head so yes like butter I like to see it properly what is inside the mushroom because otherwise the worms could go also to the healthy mushrooms in the basket which of course is something what we don't want to okay this one was quite covered in the moist moss so it already has mold and it smells weird so I'm not I'm not taking is it, is it like smelling strange or does it have mold it's somehow white mm -hmm. mm, yeah something wrong with this mushroom and how is with this big one this one has slightly warmy like which is not surprising because it's here longer yes now it's good and what about head Totally good. <laughs> this one is totally, totally good.
Various bullet mushrooms and especially porcini are great on pizza. For my pizza, I used tomato sauce, cheese, olives, onion, mushrooms, oregano and basil, which I grow on the balcony. Here is one enormous ugly milk gap, but I don't know what we would do with it. We will leave it here. We already had quite a lot of mushroom sa salad in previous days from ugly milk caps, so maybe now we will have some pause. I originally didn't want to today pick any punikitatti, but now when I see how these two ones are good looking, I will take them. They like usually tend to be blackish inside. They tend to have a lot of worms, but this small one is completely good and I don't even need to put the bottom sponge part away and even this one when I'm cutting it the leg is firm very 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 good quality not for me at all Aha, here is one small patch which one I think it's better to already check it in the forest uh, if the mushrooms are healthy than not then to take the whole basket home and then to throw away 90% of them. Here is another pretty one which I'm taking. Another punikitati. Okay, here is another one but I think that I must stop now with picking them because I'm expecting even better mushrooms and the basket is already now quite full. And uh, one more thing about Punikitatti is that there are more types of them. Today we found Havan Punikitatti and in previous videos, previous mushrooming videos there were mostly uh, koivu punikitatti. They differ slightly in colors, in the shade of orange and also in shapes. These mushrooms are apparently eatable but they must be boiled before another preparation, samely as korvasieni and they have a bit rubbery consistency. But what is their name again? Pispan Hipa. Pispan Hipa is their name. So, hat of the bishop. <laughs> yes. Here are some extremely beautiful herkutate. There is one head with uh, two legs. They are totally connected like Siam twins. And here are another twins. also very good legs. Here one snail. Here is one very large punikitati, but now when I realized how many herkutati are here, I think that I will just leave it here even without trying. What I found there of these huge herkutati 
Here are even some Siam twins. <laughs> <laughs> When searching for Musta Torvisieni, I feel like that firstly I can't see them, but when I find first individual, then they start to appear everywhere because they are quite hidden with their black heads. They remind a bit some leaves or roots. Here are so many punikitati just growing by the road, very large, so everyone who's passing must see them. But I think that people don't pick them because they are waiting for the better ones as we are. It's uh, with the mushrooms, it's that there is long time, nothing, nothing from the beginning of the season from spring when we are searching it's like no mushrooms no mushrooms and then there is such a huge amount of them that it's almost stressful because we of course cannot pick everything we see yeah yeah but remember last year nothing yes last year was very poor on mushrooms So maybe this situation to be stressed about so many mushrooms is better than not, not having mushrooms at all. Interesting formation of old punikitati. No, not punikitati, herkutati. But the smell is not very good. Here are voitati, which are very often uh, on the edges of the roadside. I will take it because I like Vojtatti very much. I must go for the knife and then I will remove this skin. Okay, but it's going quite well even with fingers. I don't want to see my nails then, but it's worth it. Here are many of Vala Oracas. Our basket is already pretty variable. Here we have Vala Oracas, Herkutati, Mustaturvisieni. Okay, here are some ugly milk caps. I'm not very happy about it. Then, <laughs> then some punikitati. Somewhere on the bottom should be few haperot. Yes, and the voitati I tried before, it was then inside warm, so now it's not in the basket. And what was this kehan? Uh, Kehnasieni. Kehnasieni is there also. 
Yes, and then we had this Lambanka fabric which don't have this spine. Here is one hidden Vala oracas, and one can only see it by this hole. And if we want it, we must dig it. Yes, I cannot, I don't have such long fingers to get it out. Now when we picked the whole basket of mushrooms we are going to have a coffee by one very beautiful lake and it's something what we always do when we go mushrooming that we take with us hot water and some good snack. We agreed that the coffee tastes the best outside so that's the plan. This is so beautiful. are these kind of mushrooms and we were wondering if those are kangastate or numetate so we cut it half and it should be recognized by uh, color. Kangastate should turn blue so it shows more to numetate direction. It resembles a bit to Vojtate, but um, it's less tasty, so I usually pick it only when there are no other mushrooms available. And also it's not very easy to remove the bottom part of the head. And it's also tend to be more moist and spongy. The consistency is not very good. So now we have here one mushroom about which we think that it could be that Kangastatti because it's more yellow. So let's see if it will turn blue when we cut it. And smaller. Yes, smaller these pores on the bottom part. Mm -hmm. And you already see mm, Yes, already they like very fastly getting blue. And how it's inside. Let's wait. <laughs> anyway, we are not taking it because it's not highly tasty mushrooms, so it's just for interest. Yes, and it's already possible to see it here on the edge. We are now uh, going to the mushroom exhibition which is in the Kasvi, Kasvi Museum in the Botanical Garden. Thank you. 